What's good, CBT fam? Before y'all get into the video, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell to get notified every time I upload content. Peace. What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Boxing Talk. Colossal Boxing Talk is associated with Three Kings Boxing under the movement umbrella, and I am back with another video. Heavyweight contender, Dillian White. He says he's angry. He says he feels betrayed by the WBC. He, like other people, so many other people, thought that he was going to be named the mandatory um, two WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder, but the WBC and Mauricio Mauricio Solomon had other ideas. They ordered that Dillian White face Luis Ortiz in a final WBC title eliminator. As you all know, Dominic Brazil fought and defeated Eric Molina in a WBC eliminator last year. So he's the one to get the next shot at. Deontay Wilder. If Wilder doesn't um, agree to fight or come to a, uh, an agreement to face Anthony Joshua in an undisputed heavyweight title um, bout. But Dillian White's feelings hurt. He says he's shocked, you know, and he's just blindsided. He He's all in his feelings, you know, and this is what, this is what he had to say. I fought for every single belt the WBC said I was eligible for. I'm one of those guys. Um, I'm one of the only guys in the WBC who has followed the proper procedure. I fought many eliminators, many WBC ranking fights. I've been loyal to the WBC for about two years. I've had the sanctioning fights. I've done everything they've asked me to do. My information was I wasn't meant. I was meant to be next in line. If anything, the WBC should be ordering me and Brazil to fight in the final eliminator to face Wilder. I've got. I've had loads of WBC fights, and they've always been against top contenders, Chisor, Helenus, and Brown. These haven't been against Muggs. They have been against top contenders who are highly ranked in the WBC as well. We're going to try to see what we can do and see whether or not we can reach some sort of agreement with the WBC. I'm very, very disappointed and annoyed. I feel betrayed by the WBC, to be honest. So, this is what he's basically saying. Why? Why do I have to fight King Kong Wolves Ortiz, the same Ortiz that had Wilder on the brink of losing his undefeated record in his WBC heavyweight title? He's old, but the motherfucker was beating up Wilder, and I'm not even as skilled as Wilder. And I don't possess the power of Wilder, the height of Wilder, or the reach of Wilder. So what chances do you give me against that skillful, powerful, fearful Heavyweight contender, Luis Ortiz. That's what he's saying. So expect Dillian White to face Kubrat, Pulev, in the IBF, title eliminator, easier route, uh, route, path of least resistance. And he doesn't want none of um, Luis Ortiz. Not a lot of heavyweights want something with Luis Ortiz. That's why it's just now taking him time to just now, he just now getting his sec second world title shot. You know, um, he was the WBA mandatory. Ortiz that was or that is um to Joshua's title but somehow when he flunked that shit uh drug testing the WBC even though he was reinstated by them the WBA said fuck it you don't get another chance don't matter if you're innocent it was a miscommunication it wasn't truly you cheating so he has another shot he was just in the ring with uh Wilder a month ago a month or so ago Great fight. Got stopped in the 10th round. Now, he's back in a position to where if it ain't going to be white, it's going to be the next contender up. And then he'll get his shot after Dominic Brazil. If Dominic Brazil doesn't get a shot next, but he's after Dominic Brazil. So, somebody got to fight King Kong Luis Ortiz. That somebody may be dealing in white. I highly doubt it. He knows he doesn't want smoke with uh, Luis Ortiz. Let's just call it what it is. I like Dillian White. He's a solid fighter. But he doesn't strike fuck fear in nobody's um, eyes in the heavyweight division. So expect him to take on Kurabit or Kurbet or whatever the fuck his name is. Pulev in the IBF title eliminator. And avoid the dangerous, the fearful, the fearless King Kong Luis Ortiz. On his way to a potential rematch down the line with Anthony Joshua for the IBF 
and maybe the other titles um that he may possess if he do or don't fight Wilder. If he do or don't fight Pavekin and survive those fights. So heavyweight um division is in a mess again. We got the two top guys, you know, straggling through social media about fighting each other and now we got these second tier uh contenders bitching about having to face um about not giving being given the WBC mandatory. So there's a lot of chaos in the heavyweight division, but um this is boxing this is a business first and foremost and these things play out how they normally supposed to um do what i told you to do at the beginning of the video drop a comment in the comment section below head over to facebook smack that like button on the colossal boston talk facebook page follow me on twitter at colossal cbt shout out to everybody in the movement that's moving with us be sure to subscribe daily to threekingsboxing.com for your latest and greatest unfiltered unbiased boxing news reported the way it should be until next time i'm out peace